Mohim here from styleofliving.com. So today I want to share with you the kind of 20 things that I'm doing differently now that it's winter. Um, it's November here in Ireland so things have definitely gotten cooler soggier and because of that I'm having to change things up in my home and in my life to I suppose coincide with the different season so I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys what it is I'm doing and if any of you are doing things a little bit differently or extra things I would love to hear about them in the comments below so first up I'm looking outside of my home in the garden and one of the things that we are doing there is covering up and protecting our garden furniture storing away kind of like our fold up garden chairs and then covering up like our barbecue and our uh, outside table things like that um, also recently we had our chimney swept and our boiler serviced to ensure that everything is okay in terms of heating um, as well um, in the garden actually as well we kind of stored away like our little decorative items like our little figurines our gnomes we have some lighting things like that um, a few years back I forgot to put all those away we had a big storm here and most of them either blew out of our garden to God knows where or blew off the table or wherever they were and got broken or smashed or damaged so now I've started putting those away in a box in the shed and just taking them out again when uh, spring hits us and um, the other thing that we have started to do is to put out food and water for birds. Uh, it's still pretty mild here, so like we've had no frost yet. Uh, we had rain, but nothing, you know, too um, sort of nothing to be worried about. But I've started to feed uh, the birds already, just so they know that when things get a little bit colder and it's harder for them to find uh, food and water, that we are a source of food and water for them. Um, we recently changed the timings on our lighting, like our lamps and things like that, and also on our central heating. We don't have the central heating on a lot just yet, but we did sort of change up the times a little bit. We've noticed the evenings have been getting chillier and things like that, so just so that uh, we don't have to think about it or that it's not already cold before we put it on as well. Um, we recently stocked up on fuel for our fire, so we have a stove fire in our sitting room. And we're in the really lucky position that James, my husband, his parents are farmers and part of their land is actually turf or, or bog. And so every year they cut uh, an amount of that and um, they very kindly send them up to us. We have a little turf shed that James's brother Kevin built for us a few years back um, at the side of our house. So that it's all now fully stocked and uh, good to go for some lovely turf uh, fires in the coming months. Um, we recently swapped out our meal plan, so our meal plan now has more things like soups and stews and sort of like that kind of like cozy comfort food thing. For me, like things like that would be like bangers and mash, which is mashed potatoes and sausages. Um, I probably wouldn't really have that as a meal during the summer. It's a little bit stodgy and kind of like filling, but it's just amazing for winter. Um, so we've swapped up things like that. One of our favorite soups, I don't do a huge amount of um, like processed or pre-prepared soups from a shop. I make my own purely because I'm wheat intolerant and I find a lot of ready-made soups or packet soups contain wheat in them. At least obviously if I'm making my own, I'm fully aware of what's going into them. One of our favorite is curried carrot soup, which I make myself. It is so easy, so inexpensive, and so delicious. So if you're interested in that recipe, do let me know. I'd be delighted to do sort of like a quick uh, video on that for you. Because as I say, it is really, really simple to, uh, to make. Um, the other thing that I've recently done is clear out my freezer. Not that I have a lot of frozen foods. I think I did a, a conmarie on my freezer before and you guys will see will have seen how small it is and how little I actually keep in there. So I've just cleared that out of anything that I might sort of have forgotten about in preparation for all the baking I intend on doing this winter. And also for things like with the soup that I just mentioned as well, that is a, a really good freezable soup as well. So I can make up a batch of that and um, store it in portion sizes as well. Um, the other thing, uh, 
Great segue, having a clear freezer, I'm gonna get my bake on. I love to bake. For me, baking is a great stress reliever. I don't get to do nearly as much as I would like, purely because I don't have the time and when my kitchen is so small, as you will have seen in previous videos. But every year, um, around this time, I do like to, I suppose, like learn how to make something new or something that I've never really made before to kind of like add into my repertoire of things that I would hopefully make regularly. Last year, um, that was banana bread. Uh, it was something I had never made myself before. And being wheat intolerant, I find that it can be difficult to either find a version that's tasty or find a recipe that's actually really nice. So I last year what I did was I looked at a few recipes, made a few, and then kind of tweaked it to something that we really like. Um, so this year I am on the lookout for a new recipe or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Um, to make. Don't know what that is going to be yet. So if you have any great su suggestions, please do let me know in the comments below or something that you love to bake. Um, because I'm always on the lookout some, for great things. Um, another thing that I'm very excited about that I actually started to do last night is prep for Christmas. Okay, bear with me here. I know it's the beginning of November and like barely the Halloween candy is barely eaten at this point. But I like to start planning for Christmas um, basically as soon as November comes. Christmas decorations do not go up until December. Just put that out there. But I like to start to plan. And so what I started to do last night was to put together my Christmas planner. This is something I started to do a number of years ago. And up until this year, I always just used a notebook and maybe customized it or decorated it. This year when I was conmering my attic, I found an old Filofax that I had obviously bought years ago and completely forgotten about. It's not one, it's not a very kind of inspiring one or nice one, it's just a plain black uh, Filofax. I can't for the life of me remember the name of it. Um, but what I decided to do was to kind of customize it and decorate it and make it a permanent Christmas planner. So that's something I started to work on last night. Still a little bit to go before it's um, what I want it to be, but I'm actually planning on sharing my, I suppose, my plan my Christmas planner setup and how I use it and what I use it for um, in the next few weeks, so do stay tuned for that. Um, so, but yes, starting for Christmas, it's a good thing to do a month early just to get yourself organized and even for budgets or to start even just looking out for, you know, like decorations or gift ideas because they're already in the shops. I've seen them in the shops for the last two or three weeks and you can guarantee that by the time December actually rolls around, stock will be limited or, you know, some might even be out of it already. It's crazy how early they're kind of forcing these seasons on us. So I like to stay on top of things. Um, I'm also readjusting our home budget. So during the winter months, I noticed that in certain areas, particularly like kind of gas and electricity and some kind of food areas, our budget increases, obviously because it's cold and we're using things more or eating more things, you know. So I like to readjust our home budget for that and shop around, see if there is a better service provider or a better package that we should be on. Um, because the, the sort of the evenings are, you know, longer or no, obviously they're the same length, but the day is shorter in terms of it gets darker much earlier here in Ireland, at some point between 4 and 5 p.m. it gets dark in Ireland during the winter. So I find that we tend not to go out as much during the evenings. Um, so we have more time to do that kind of research and stuff. So that's what I like to do at this time of the year as well. So that's a lot of what we're doing in our home um, now that it's winter. And I suppose personally or for ourselves, what we're doing is, obviously I've recently just taken all our winter coats, hats, scarves, uh, gloves, those kind of things. I've freshened them up, washed them, 
and I've put them in more kind of convenient places. They're always convenient to access, but now they're even more so convenient to access, so that if we need to grab them on the run. Also taking out our, all our umbrellas. Now, mostly during the summer months, our umbrellas stay in our car, in case we get caught out. But now I've got some in the house as well, because getting from the house to the car in the rain can be a challenge sometimes. So I'm just moving those kind of things around so that they're easier for us to access now that, they, that it is winter. Um, I haven't done this yet, but one of the other things that I will be doing is protecting um, our sort of leather footwear and like good handbags with, you know, a waterproof wax or coating or something like that. Haven't found the one I'm going to use just yet, um, but it is something on my to-do list. Also going to be replacing the soles of, um, you know, shoes or boots that need it done or getting things rehealed just so that you know obviously we don't get soggy feet or slip in the frost or snow if we get some things like that so just making sure that we're I suppose safe and secure in our footwear as well um, recently I have changed up my lip balm and my hand cream to something that's a little bit richer and more intense now that obviously the uh, temperatures have changed and it's going to be colder and you know we'll be going between cold, warm and wet kind of um, uh, areas and things like that so just to make sure that my hands don't get chapped the same with my lips as well. Um, Another thing that I always say to friends and family during the winter is to remember to continue to wear a sunscreen. Um, you know, even though it's not summer and you kind of forget that, you know, there's still a harsh sun out there. Uh, for me, the easiest way to do this is to ensure that your moisturizer or your foundation have like an SPF in it and then you don't even have to think about it it's not like you have to apply an extra product in the morning or in the evening or you know whenever you're going out um, I also look at my skincare regime at this time of year for me I find that sort of not quite seasonally but almost um, my skin gets either used to or tired of the current skincare regime and I find that just changing it up a little bit might be a product or doing things a little bit differently it sort of benefits my skin a little bit more um, so yeah like that I'm sort of looking at what I'm doing and what I'm putting on my face and what I might need to change now that it's winter time um, uh, another thing that I used to have to do at this time of year, every year, was swap out my clothes. Before I conmarried my clothes, which I did earlier in the summer, and I will link below to that video if you're interested in it, um, before I did the conmarie, I used to have spring summer clothes and autumn winter clothes and obviously would rotate. Pardon me. Now that I've come read my clothes and I only have the clothes that bring me joy, I no longer have to do that. Everything now fits in my wardrobes or my drawers. Um, but what I have been doing is sort of like identifying areas that maybe I need like more sweaters, which I do need. I need more kind of like t-shirts that aren't like kind of string vesty things. And I did need a new winter coat, which I have since bought. Um, so just like identifying things that you might need to kind of purchase or um, get to round out your wardrobe if you don't have to swap your wardrobe out as well. And one of the last things that I have been doing in recent weeks is making sure that my car is ready for the winter. So uh, my car recently had an NCT, which for those of you who are not Irish is, I suppose, a, um, a sort of a mandatory inspection or service that all cars of a certain age have to have either every two years or every year depending on their age and um, sort of uh, to ensure that it's roadworthy and everything is working and so on and so forth. So my car recently had that. It failed originally and um, it had to have a few things kind of like replaced and adjusted on it which I've had done and while I was having that done I had like a general service as well just to ensure like you know tires are up to scratch, uh, lights are working, you know all of that kind of important thing that you don't want to sort of happen to you on a dark wet soggy night and, and things like that so yeah do check out that your car doesn't need anything done to it that you've got good tires on it your lights are working you know even putting things like de-icer and salt into your boot at this time of year is really good helps you out in sort of you know a pinch and things like that 
So I hope you found these kind of, I think it's about 20 or so things um, that I am now doing that it's winter and you should definitely give some serious consideration to. If you have sort of were listening or to this and kind of thought, oh gosh, why isn't she doing this? Please do let me know if you've got some tips and advice that things that I should be doing. Might be doing them already, just didn't need to write them down, but I would love to hear from you anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if it's your first time watching, please do subscribe. I share weekly. Most of my videos are uh, centered around weddings, events, or organization. This coming Wednesday, I'm actually going to have a wedding related video for Wedding Wednesday. And it is going to, in that, I'm going to talk about the common areas uh, or things that couples leave off or forget to include in their wedding budget that can have a dramatic effect uh, and increase their budget significantly when they do so. Um, so if you're planning a wedding or know somebody that does, do uh, remember to check that out on Wednesday. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to sharing with you guys soon again.